on on i don't know if you guys see it yeah that's the hotel let me quickly take you inside take you through everything now it's a beautiful place i love it If you want to experience a city and its soul, stay in a part which has roots still entrenched in the past. The memory at Onon Hotel was made famous in 2000 because of its appearance in the Leonardo DiCaprio film The Beach. But the hotel was first opened in 1929 when the main industry in Phuket used to be tin mining. And believe me when I say this, pictures don't do justice to this quaint little place. It has so much character to it. Okay, you guys. I have to take you through this room. It is so freaking adorable. Okay, so that's my bed. Look how cute it is, and it's got so much character. Look what's happening on the top. It's like a little canopy thing. I love it. Okay, there's also like this little sofa, nice sitting area, and then there's a balcony which opens right outside. I'm gonna show you that. Not much of a view, to be honest. Let's just. unlock this thing here uh okay so this is what it opens to it's like a common balcony that i believe everybody's uh kind of sharing so yeah not much of a view there but i think that's okay i mean they make up with it uh they make up for it with the beautiful room and how nicely it's been done up and it smells amazing it smells so awesome Anyways, so that's the cupboard. Uh things spacious uh for my 4 days here. <laughs> And uh I'm going to show you the bathroom really quickly. Uh I love it. Okay, so it's a sliding door. So, well, that's the port. It's a tiny bathroom. Uh yeah, that's that. Hi. <laughs> And of course, uh the shower cubicle is uh Here, so it's a cute little bathroom, and that's about it. Hey guys, so uh, I have my Google Maps on right now. It's I think it's 6:30 actually. I reached the hotel and I crashed. I was just so tired. I took a quick shower, changed, and I'm wearing like comfortable clothes now. And I'm walking around, exploring Old Town Phuket, and uh, hopefully I'll be. one of those uh, night markets that they have here it says it's a 45 minute walk so we'll see how that goes but come with me old phuket town fairly shines with a personality of its own and a charm that is hard to resist in this historically rich part of town you'll find shrines temples ornate and beautifully preserved shop houses quaint cafes and beautiful graffiti The old town is compact enough to stroll around in and not big enough to get lost in. <laughs> and the best time to do this is early in the morning or after the day has lost its heat. Let's 
from fashionable footwear to clothing to accessories to home decor to souvenir shopping to electronics and of course a lot of local food to binge on and sample on this place has everything under one roof for you so the phuket night market and especially the naka weekend night market is something to be not missed that's where the scuba starts and it's 7:15 in the morning i am really really tired i'm actually wearing my swimsuit uh, under my dress and i'm really excited for today because uh, it's my first time scuba diving and uh, let's just hope it turns out to be a fun experience just how snorkeling did and i'm going to take you through uh, my entire day but for now i'm going to just shut up because i haven't had breakfast and i'm hungry <laughs> all right uh, see you on the other side so this was the landmark in the email and i'm here i'm at chalong pier right now really embarrassing but i'm going to say it nonetheless i dived uh, today and uh, apparently there's some issue with my ear and we didn't realize it until i like went 10 meters under and that's when the pain started you know happening and it started it was like this piercing pain so we had to come back up by like um, Seven meters, and then we waited again, and like I blew my nose and did, did all of that, but uh, couldn't manage it. So I came back up and I tried again. I dived the second time, and that time I was able to like just you know flap around. And uh, we were at eight meters basically. We didn't go deeper. We were at eight meters, and I did like dive a little. I would say like 15 minutes or something, but then. Um, Again, the pain started getting more because I was going down and I didn't know how to like come up. Uh, I didn't know how to control that or do any of that. So we came back up and uh, the entire journey I was 
just sleeping after that because my ear was paining like no one's business the water actually just came out while i was on my way to nubdi which is where my brother is putting up it's a beautiful uh, property in kata beach uh, surprise surprise how did the solo trip become a family trip well uh, bhai and i are kind of uh, we planned our trips one after the other but uh, his uh, is a different itinerary mine is a different itinerary for just tomorrow uh, and today night is when we are kind of together so tonight we're going to have dinner together but um, i've reached the hotel and i'm waiting for them to come now and i'm ordering some food for myself because i'm starving because the food at the boat was horrible it was there was legit nothing vegetarian in there and it reeked of seafood it reeked of uh, i just couldn't bear you know i mean of course if you're a non vegetarian no offense but i just couldn't manage like i was this this close to like puking and it was not sea sickness because i took a pill for sea sickness so that's that but uh, yeah i'm going to quickly look through what they have but first let me show you the beautiful view that i have here do you see that yeah i'm literally sitting on the edge and uh, facing the beautiful waters so yeah oh also this was my suggestion to bhai Uh, the hotel yeah i'm good at hotel bookings i think i'm going to become a travel agent if all else fails hi you guys so i am back again at the naka weekend market but this time i have company So brother and Bhavi and Gappu is here, my nephew. And uh, I know I haven't like vlogged the, everything that happened in between, but it was a long evening. Let's just keep it to that. But now we're finally out, and we'll be exploring some more of the weekend market. So yay! So it is day three in Phuket, and today has been a very chilled out day so far. Uh, I just got out. I even haven't had breakfast or a lunch time. Ho raha hai. It's like two thirty three, whatever. So I'm gonna go to Riders Cafe where I was on my first night here and get something to eat, and then I'm gonna move towards Patong Beach or maybe Kata. We haven't decided that yet because today is the day when I'm actually gonna chill with my uh, family a bit, so my brother and Bhavi. So yeah, that's that. And let's quickly just go get something to eat because I'm tired and I can't talk so much without food. <laughs> It's so surprise. I know. He's so in awe of everything. But your video is being made, so please retard it. Please don't make it. Oh, Kapu. is the most famous beach in Phuket and while some may call it overcrowded and busy i was actually quite surprised that the beach wasn't half as busy as i'd imagined it to be thankfully there are a whole bunch of companies helping you with a ton of water sports so you don't really have to wait for anything there okay you guys i did paris sailing and i also did jet skiing and it was so amazing but we did not uh, plan for this I actually did not plan for jet skiing so hum pure bheeg gaye hain so mostly we'll be roaming around on patong ki sadke now aur hum kapde dekhenge which is all the more reasons for us to shop clothes but uh, it was good fun bhavi and bhaiya are right there and uh, yeah okay maybe you'll see me next after i change my clothes so 
Hi, so I have changed and I'm walking and finding my way to uh, the Indian curry club right now, which is an Indian restaurant at all. So Bhaiya and Bhavi are craving Indian food. Not Bhavi, Bhaiya is. So we decided to have uh, dinner there. The same beach area which is famous for its day activities and its beach is also very famous for its nightlife. By night, the town has a bustling nightlife which includes literally hundreds of restaurants, beer bars, go-go bars and of course nightclubs. Okay, so this is me signing out from Phuket. I uh, have my cab, not a cab actually, it's called a Toyota commuter. It's a huge vehicle and I'm just dragging my luggage out right now and uh, leaving for the airport. I woke up really early this morning. Okay, you can't really see me. Yeah, I woke up really early this morning so that I could film a video for you guys which has gone live on the channel. It's a nip situation test video. See, I'm such a good girl. I'm still working with uh, on a holiday. So that's that. But anyways, uh, yeah, I do have two bags. I brought two suitcases, two small suitcases. And yeah, I'm heading to the airport now. So we're going to see you guys soon. Checked in, I reached the airport, did all my formalities, it was just like a couple of minutes, and I have my boarding pass with me and we're boarding at gate 81, so that's where I'm headed now.